And when the people of Ashdod rose early the next day, the whole Dagon had fallen face downward on the ground before the ark of the Lord. So they took Dagon and put him back up in his place somewhere woo, in the middle of the night. God heard those Israelites repenting. Somewhere in the middle of the night, God decides to let the Israelites know I'm still your God. I'm still on the throne. Woo, hallelujah. And while the uh, Philistines are having a party, and while the Israelites are weeping, and uh, it's way late in the morning now, uh, God makes a visit to the temple of Dagon. Hallelujah. Walks in there and just reaches over, hallelujah, to that idol, Dagon. Praise God. And just taps him and knocks him off the shelf. Hallelujah. The next morning, oh, the shout. The next morning, the Philistines come in and their supreme God is laying on the floor face down. Hallelujah. My God, I feel something in the house. Uh, the, the, the problem with false gods, the problem with antichrist spirits is there will come a time when it will be proven that they have no ability to do anything. Philistines go into the temple of Dagon and they find their God 
laying not, not face down this time. The head's over there, the feet's over there, the hands are over there, and the trunk of his body is laying there on the floor. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't know how y'all sit there and not shout with this kind of person. <laughs> you know what that shows me? Hallelujah. <coughs> Thomas better get ready to run again. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know what that shows me? The God of the Israelites. The God of the gates of praise. The God, Jehovah, is getting ready to break the head of your enemy. He's getting ready to break the head of your enemy. He's getting ready to break the hands of your enemy. Stand and say, praise God. I can see that old Dagon laying there in the floor. Hallelujah. Screaming, help me. I've fallen and I can't get up. Hallelujah. Imagine that with a listening surprise when they found they on face down before the ark. Listen, when your enemy loses his head, he can't think to execute his plans against you anymore. When your enemy has no feet, he can't walk against you anymore. When he has no head, Philistine hands, but the God of the Philistines is in the hands of 